Hi, I'm Sean Ganim, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring by grouping. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 224AZ plus 56AC minus 84YZ minus 21YC, and we need to factor this completely. Well, one thing, I know you probably don't know off the top of your head, I didn't until I investigated, a seven goes into all parts here. So let's go make this a little simpler and pull out a seven. By pulling out a seven, I'm left with a 32 AZ plus an eight AC minus a 12 YZ and minus a three YC. But now we can, by pulling out the seven, smaller numbers are a little easier to see and deal with. So let's go group the first two terms here and the second two terms. Now the second two terms is going to be tricky. That minus sign is only to the 12yz. By putting a second round of parentheses here, I'm now saying that minus sign has to apply to both parts. So to counteract, to make sure when it is applied that this is a minus 3yc, make that a plus sign now. Okay? All right. So now we have it set up like this. We want to pull out a common factor here. So 7 comes down. And what do we have? Well, an 8a is in both parts here. So if I pull out an 8a, what am I left with? If I pull out an aa from 32az, I'm left with a 4z. 8a out of 8ac is just a c. Minus, now, do the same thing with the second parenthesis here. A 3y goes in both parts. So if I pull out a 3y, I'm left with here a 4z plus AC. So hopefully we can see some repetition here. 4z plus c and 4z plus c. So again, we're kind of going to break this down here. I'm going to pull out a 4z plus c from both parts of the inner parenthesis right here. By pulling that out, we're left with it being multiplied in the leftovers here. 8a minus 3y. And so my final answer now is 7 times, oh, we have to put another parenthesis here. Oh, did I forget that? I did. Right here. All right. Here we go. Keeping it all nice and neat. Don't forget it. 7 times in big parentheses, another parentheses, 8a minus 3y times 4z plus c, and that is our final answer. I hope this video is helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. And so as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.